Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be talking about decals. Uh, we're going to be trying to recreate uh, the character you see in front of here, uh, in front of you here with all these tattoos and a ripped up shirt and a nice uh, tribal tattoo and uh, scars all over his face and stuff. So we're going to be trying to recreate this guy. Now I'm aware that uh, a lot of the world will pronounce this decal, uh, however I pronounce it, decal, and it's going to be hard for me to switch, so I'm going to be using decal. So uh, pardon my pronunciation, apologize in advance. So let's go ahead, first of all, and start over in the character creator. So we're going to go over to our character creator, and we're going to be applying some uh, decals to our character's face first. Now to do that, you need to go over here to your appearance tab, select your actor, and then activate the appearance editor. Now for the head and for the body, there are three uh, decal slots each. So if we go into skin uh, body right here, we can go down to decal. You can see body decal one, two, three, and skin head, we have decal one, two, three as well. So let's uh, focus on the head first, and we're going to uh, add some decals. Now, first of all, I wanted to mention that these actually come in layers. So the layer decal, uh, decal one layer will be the lowest one, decal two will be the second lowest one, and decal three will be on top. So let's go ahead and open up head decal one, and we're going to add an injury to this uh, character. We're going to add, I'm going to be using the essential uh, learning pack. So let's go ahead and double click on our diffuse map here to load in our own custom decal. Now I'm going to be using, like I mentioned, this uh, custom uh, essential learning resource pack, uh, custom texture folder. You can find that in the uh, resources. Let's go into our decal folder here and into scar. And we have a whole bunch of different scars, um, scar seven, scar six. You have to go to different folders here to find out because they each have uh, their own normal maps and specular maps indicated by the N and the S uh, suffix there. Let's go ahead and double click on this diffuse map here and it'll add a nice little red something to his uh, forehead right there. Let's go ahead and load in our other maps first. So we'll go to our normal map, double click that and load that in and our specular map as well. So we don't have to load these in later. Now, the first thing I want to do is reposition this and resize it to look appropriate. So I'm going to go down here to my offset section and we're going to use the offset uh, slider right here. You can also use the little uh, buttons, the little up and down arrows on the side, which I like to use. Uh, we can, you know, bring it down this way as well down to his uh, our character's cheek and uh, you know sometimes you can just use the sliders because they're faster in a lot of cases but you can notice it doesn't really look that nice it's kind of uh, distorted a little bit so we need to actually go down here to scale and I'm going to modify my width value you can see the width value right here if I maximize it it'll be probably the best resolution that we can get so it's up to you to kind of uh, depending on the image uh, size the image resolution that you use for your decals you can use anywhere from like 512 to uh, 1040. 1040 is normally what I'd recommend or even 512 for decals. Let's just keep it the way it is right now. We can maybe make it a little bit smaller by using our width and height sliders there and then maybe offsetting it a little bit to the left there. All right, let's leave it there on the uh, corner of his cheek. So we got this, uh, you know, nasty looking scratch, like a tiger scratch on his uh, cheek right there. The first thing we can do is uh, modify the normal strength. We can make it more deep and serious, or we can make it more like a surface scratch, uh, or we can just you know make it more severe. I like to keep it more severe because we're, we're going to go extreme on this uh, tutorial here, very extreme injuries. And then we can modify other values like specular and color, which we won't do in this case, uh, not yet anyways. Uh, one value you can modify to make this look nice is the diffuse value. You can take that down, and if you take down the diffuse value, you can see that we have less color. It looks more like an old scar on the character's face and less like a more recent injury. So that's one slider that you can use. You can also modify the level of normal as well, along with that in combination and specular values. If we go down here to specular, we can add more lightness to kind of create a different sort of, you know, more moist effect, I guess. Uh, but I kind of like to make it just look like this. That'll be fine for our intents and purposes. You can double click each category to reset it back to what you had before or what the default was anyways. Okay, so we'll just keep those for decal one and let's go into decal two then. And decal two, I'm gonna do the same thing. Double click on my diffuse map, but this time I'm gonna go into decal and bandage. And we have a special bandage that we can add to our character. It'll apply right to his uh, forehead right there, which is awesome. And we can just go to the normal map, apply that. Specular map, apply that for S. And then for our mask, we also have a mask on this one. You can see the bandage underscore M, which um, refers to the mask. And that takes all the black area away there as well. So that's how you can kind of create, you know, transparent logos and stuff like that. Or bandages uh, in this case. So let's take the Y value down and let's place this bandage over top of his scar right there. You can see it doesn't really fit. So let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is, uh, again, scale this values, uh, scale the W value. 
And you can see that's the kind of resolution that it was meant to be at. And then we can make it a little bit smaller. We want to see more of that injury. He's kind of just, you know, haphazardly trying to hide up, hide his uh, injury. He still wants to look kind of badass. But uh, anyways, we can just go with that. And then, of course, we can adjust the normal strength on this bandage as well. You can see the uh, result right there. We've got a more uh, three-dimensional uh, result right there. And we can also, with the bandage, take the specular values. This one would be a good one to modify the specular values on. You can see that we can increase the lightness for a more you know, plastic bandage or a more um, canvas vinyl. I'm not sure what bandages are made of. Most bandages are anyways, gauze. Um, you probably want to have less of a... Um, you know, reflection on that so you can make it more uh, matte. And uh, that'll work just fine for our intents and purposes. Let's go ahead then and close down Head Decal 2. Just add a quick uh, Head Decal 3 in here. Go to Decal uh, Scars. I think Scar 7 is the one. Yep, this is a good one for uh, eye scars. You can see it adds right on the uh, forehead there again. Let's just add the other map to him before we move on. Specular. And let's take that value down and uh, bring it right in the middle of our character's head? No, we'll just uh, move it over to the eye a little bit, so so it kind of looks like a samurai or a super James Bond, super James Bond villain type of scar right there. I think that'll be fine. There we go, just right in the middle. And then we can go ahead and uh, increase the normal strength on this one. Uh, let's take up the width a little bit. Let's take down the width and the height first of all. Let's take up that width, make it something like that. And then for this one, we can also uh, increase or decrease the lightness, I think, to make it a bit more uh, apparent, the scar right there. Give it a bit more of an aged appearance. Take that diffuse down slightly. I think that one will work just fine. So that's a pretty um, awesome looking scar. So we've got this, uh, you know, roughed up looking guy. Let's move on to the body and let's take a look at tattoos. So on my character's body, I'm going to go down to skin body and decal right here. And body decal one. Open up that diffuse channel again and under decal. Now we can go to our tattoo folder. And I'm going to add in this uh, you know, awesome looking skull tattoo. And you can see uh, we don't really know where it is on the body. Normally it'll appear on the arm. But uh, what I can do is just mess around with these values, uh, my uh, offset values. But first what I may want to do, just to give myself a better reference, is select my character's tank top. We can go to wireframe mode right here. And if you, uh, by any chance, can't see anything under the wireframe, you'd want to go to Conform and make sure you have Hide Inner Mesh deselected. So we'll just uh, keep it that way right there. And uh, let's go to uh, the, back to the uh, body right here, decals. There we go. And let's try to uh, find this uh, somewhere. There we go. It appeared on the character's arm right there. So you may have to, you know, hazard a guess and mess around with the offsets right here. So we'll just leave that where it is. Kind of bring it over. Bring it over to our character's arm right here. And I think we need to definitely scale this one. There we go. It's uh, upside down, so let's kind of rotate it around. And it kind of like just looks a little bit distorted on the, char on the character's uh, shoulder there. Let's just uh, take that down slightly. Yeah, that's a good resolution right there. And I think, you know, that'll be fine. Now, again, you can modify this on your own time, uh, you know, by just refining values and, and doing all sorts of stuff like that um, really depends again on the resolution of your of your image uh, that you bring in uh, that might be, might be a good one right there but uh, I think we'll have to unfortunately scale it down a little bit just to fit on his arm there and uh, that'll be okay right there and then you can go up again and like you know modify the normal specular values uh, if you want it to be you know more apparent you can take down diffuse value that makes it a little bit a little bit more faded or you can go down here, uh, decrease the lightness, make it darker like that, and then increase the diffuse value. And that'll kind of, uh, you know, give you the maximum amount of uh, darkness for your uh, tattoo. And that'll be fine just the way it is. So let's just leave it like that. He's got this nice shoulder tattoo. And let's move on to a wraparound tattoo for body decal two. So let's go to body decal two and open up the same thing. Let's use this nice Celtic design right here. And again, we don't really know where that is. So let's go to our uh, values again, and let's increase the X value a little bit, maybe Y value, maybe a little bit further down. Oh, I see it along the arm right there. There we go. There is, it's just, you know, barely noticeable. So sometimes you may want to, you know, increase the uh, the width right there to scale it up. That's normally a good uh, good practice if you're kind of funder, kind of wondering, you know, where it is. We can just put this on his arm like a nice, uh, you know, uh, Celtic band right there and uh, decrease the... Uh, 
in the height or, or increase it, you know, depending on the resolution of the image again. And that'll just wrap around the entire arm right there. So that's uh, kind of a cool uh, Celtic looking tattoo. We'll just leave that the way it is. And if it's blue, it's blue right now. If we want it to be a different color, for example, we can go to, uh, you know, hue and change that hue to something like a, you know, a dark, uh, dark blue over here or a green or whatever, uh, this dark red or, you know, whatever color you want. I think this black looks kind of cool. Let's we'll leave it monochromatic. And for our last uh, body decal, let's go ahead and add in another injury. So let's go to body decal three and let's use the decal scar. And I think there's a scar six. It's like bullet holes or something. Uh, there's one that's bullet holes. Okay, scar five. So we'll use the two bullet holes right here. He's not too badass. He's just, you know, he only got shot twice instead of three times. So we'll load in all the, all the, uh, um, different maps here again. And again, we have to reposition everything. So let's go ahead and try to find this. Oh, it's coming up through his chest right there. Good thing we had our, uh, wireframe mode on. Or we can, you can also just delete the shirt if you want and add it on later. I'll just, just kind of gave you that option to do the wireframe and let's go ahead and uh this one probably needs to be with uh there you go with maximize as well and we'll just take that down somewhere like that and we can rotate it like that and let's just bring it up on the chest there you go so he's got a couple bullet holes we can increase the normal strength right there and we don't want it to look like a recent injury, recent injury in this case let's just take down that diffuse and uh there you go it looks like he got shot a couple times back when he was on the force all right, so that's pretty much it for the uh, body tattoos and uh, all the uh, modifications for the character's skin. Now let's move on to the clothing. Let's uh, take a look at how we can add some decals to our character's uh, worn out shirt here. Now to do that, we need to go to our uh, tank top over here, activate the appearance editor. And again, to keep our category simple, we're gonna twirl this down, go down to decals, and we have options for decal one, two, and three. Now for decal one, I'm going to use a custom decal. So I'm gonna open up decal one I'm going to double click on the diffuse map and on my, on my desktop, I have an Adidas logo. Now this is a PNG image. It's a transparent PNG image, which I would recommend using. So we'll just double click on that and you can see, wow, it actually looks kind of cool to be honest. Um, but we can make it, make sure this is a little bit, um, scaled down. Now I think this image is uh, 1024 by 1024, which is probably why it's so large on our character's uh, body. Now I'd recommend for decals, like I mentioned, using 512 or 1024, uh, both those resolutions work just fine. So let's go ahead and scale this one down a little bit. This went down too far here. Let's go down to uh, width and height and scale her down. And we want to bring it over here on the, we're gonna place it in the middle of his chest right here. And this one looks like it needs to be scaled down a little bit on the width right there. All right, perfect. Now you can see the Adidas symbol is pretty clean. Um, you know, it's compared to the rest of the, uh, the rest of the shirt, it's pretty clean. What we can do to kind of maybe fade out this Adidas symbol a little bit we can go up here we can go to our what i can do is use my mask channel right here i'm going to just uh, double click on the mask channel and i'm going to choose one of these blend maps under my production resources folder that i have these ones come with iclone so you can just go ahead and load this in you can see when i do that it kind of masks out it kind of makes a nice fading along the edge right there so it looks more like an old uh, worn out shirt so masks can be uh, pretty useful you can use a lot of uh, you know tools a lot of uh, different maps in your mask channel to create different effects like that. You know, if I wanted to load a different one in, maybe like a, like this one, it would be more cracked like that. Um, so it's pretty cool. You know, you can do whatever you want. I, I think that one is the first one we chose is pretty good. And you can also create your own uh, masks pretty easy in Photoshop as well, just black and white, uh, monochromatic. So that's kind of adding in our own custom logo, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead then and take a look at decal number two. So for decal number two, what we're going to use is we're going to use one of the uh, presets, uh, preset types here. Uh, under type, you can see we currently have input selected. Let's go ahead and choose hole one. And you can see, holy smokes, his uh, entire shirt gets ripped up. And that's because the decal size, again, the resolution is quite high. So let's go ahead and uh, decrease that by going to our scale value again here. And we'll take it down, something like that would be fine. And we want to uh, bring it around the front of our character. We can actually make, maybe make it down further here and uh, bring it out to the front here. I'll just kind of make a nice rip on the bottom of our character's shirt there. So we can you know, scale that down, stretch it out, put a little bit down on the y-axis, just so it's kind of like close to the bottom there. And I think we want to scale this down a little bit there as well. So you know you can create a nice looking, um, uh, nice looking rip there on the bottom of your character's shirt. 
you know, it looks fairly natural. Again, beware of the seams on your character's clothing as well as on the skin too, because you can get an issue like this. So we'll have to bring it over a little bit on the x-axis to get a more realistic effect right there. But that's how you can use decals with the decal. This decal preset, the whole one has the opacity maps as well. So let's go to decal three now. This is going to be our final decal, and let's go and add in one of the presets. Uh, we can go to type here, and we can load in this skull right here. And you can see the skull is unique because this skull actually has a normal map built in. And this is what happens if you add decal ma decals with normal maps on your clothing. Uh, you can create a pretty cool effect, which I'll show you in just a moment. First of all, let's go ahead and uh, move this. Uh, we want to move it to the back of our character. Uh, where did it go? Let's go ahead and back to the... There we go. I mess around with the values sometimes. Let's bring it up right there. I'm going to place it right in the middle of the back. So this is a skull slash this is adidas adidas special skull promotion a uh, promotional clothing they had back in the uh in the 80s because that's how old this shirt is anyways let's go ahead and scale this down a little bit we'll just bring it right to the middle right there and let's take a close look at this skull you can see that we have a nice looking skull patch again we can uh, increase or de decrease the uh, width and all the other values as well this preset here we can change this preset from like a skull we have like holes uh, we have, uh, you know, hole three. Uh, we have a pocket that we can add to the back of our uh, tank top. I don't know, I'm not sure why we want to do that, but uh, there's also this letter one. Uh, but I think we all agree the skull one is the best. So let's go ahead and take this skull and let's move our mouse over there and modify the normal value. So what you can do with the normal value is you can create kind of an effect where it looks like it's like more like a, a patch as opposed to a logo on your character shirt. So like the Adidas uh, logo on the front it looks more like a logo that's just kind of painted on to our shirt. Whereas this, uh, if we increase the normal strength right here, we can create kind of like a patch uh, effect right here. You can see if we increase the normal strength like that, we can create the effect so it looks like it's more like a patch as opposed to a uh, just a basic uh, painting on your character's shirt. So keep that in mind. And again, you can modify if you want like a vinyl kind of patch. You can use the uh, lightness and the contrast uh, in, in uh, tandem with each other to create a sort of a different effect on that as well. But let's just keep that where it is. So there we have it. That's uh, pretty much, uh, we have our patch right there, our nice skull patch on the back. You can see from this distance, it looks a lot uh, more prominent, like it's extruded a little bit from the actual material, as opposed to the front where it's, you know, more faded in and kind of just painted onto our, uh, to our shirt. So those are the two different types of effects you can use for uh, uh, clothing logos. And then we have our nice uh, tattoos, uh, the tribal band on the character's arm and then on the face we got these uh you know cool looking injuries right here so that's about it for this tutorial on decals hopefully you learned a lot and make sure you check out our forums at forum.relusion.com we have uh you know threads that are talking about the character creator if you have any questions we also have uh, help files and uh, a nice website that i'll link to in the description below so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time